there, my name is Mrs. Maggie and I am here to do a quick simple craft that can be really fun with kids. It's going to look like this, or something close to it. Um, you can build this craft around the idea of springtime, so you can talk with your child about what happens in spring, what the weather is like what kind of animals come out in spring, um, what kind of flowers. If you are taking walks with your child, you can um, look at flowers that are blooming or coming up, people's gardens, things like that, um, and base that around the craft as well. The first thing you need is just blank paper. I'm just using regular printer paper. The next thing you need is paint. I have two bottles of paint. These are just washable Crayola paint that I got on sale. The next thing you need is plates. And plates work better than bowls because you're actually going to end up using forks. So the plate gives you a better um, motion for dipping your fork in your paint. So I just put some of the washable paint on a small plate and I have a fork here and then I have another one for the other color and the last thing you need are crayons or markers or if you decide to use paint and a paintbrush instead you can do that. I'm using two different color greens inside a roll of markers here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fork and I'm just going to take the bottom of it and make sure I get paint all the way down the fork like that. And I'm going to take my blank paper and I'm going to just kind of roll that fork back and forth and let go. And there is my tulip flower. And then I'm going to repeat it again. I'm going to do two of them. So I'll make another tulip flower over here. And there's another tulip flower. And then I'm going to get my other color. Now I tried a disposable fork and it didn't really have, um, it didn't have the bottom part um, that had that kind of roundness in it and it was hard to do when I was practicing. So I really just recommend using a regular fork and then just washing it in your sink. It's washable non-toxic paint so nothing's going to happen. You just wash it um, normally and your fork will be okay. I'm going to dip that again there and get that bottom of that flower there. And then I'm going to take my dark marker and I'm going to draw some stems on the flowers. And you can squiggle or you can do straight stems, whatever it is you prefer. And then I'm going to add some leaves to the flowers so you can do small leaves with curves like that or you can do some really big leaves coming off the stem like that or you can do medium ones whatever it is that you like best then I take my lighter color green marker or crayon or whatever it is you have and I'm going to make some grass. My flowers are coming up out of the grass garden so I'm going to do lots of lines, some of them big, some of them small, all through the bottom here. What kind of things do you see in spring? I know in spring it rains a lot so you could add water droplets in blue to have rain. You could paint a blue sky there. 
You could do insects. Maybe you see ladybugs in spring or butterflies. So you can add some bugs to it. Maybe you want a little worm crawling in the dirt. You could do some dirt down here and make a worm crawling. You can do all sorts of things, whatever you can imagine. And then this can be a decoration that you have of tulip flowers for springtime. Thanks so much for joining in and I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope to see you soon. Bye!